Alrighty. Welcome back, Anderson. Oh, hey. What's up, dude? Where are we going? Where, where are we supposed to go? Uh, we're over here. Uh, oh, dear diner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, how's it going? Pine Funeral Home, okay. This is where he, uh... Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. What happened to Sarah? Maybe we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. All right, where are these, where are these kids at? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, OK? What were you doing at Colgin late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. Oh, no I way! The lake, getting some details. You're in for a treat! So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found them. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Uh oh, let me visit my mind palace real quick. You guys just stay right there. of the tree what are the bookers telling me found their necklace the symbol is two triangles the cult wants their spruce tree back Annie finders keepers Ed my publisher will want this on the cover Tammy found something a necklace belonging to one of the cultists the bookers were at Cauldron Lake why was built to hide what's there. They say the writer fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. What the fuck, Mara? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Interesting.
We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Interesting. So that answers these. Case closed. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. Oh, nice. It's my first cult case. Exciting. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. All right. Oh yeah, Alex Casey lunchbox. Found by the FBC monitoring station at Control Lake. Oh, a cult! Whoa! That's it. We're together, hero. Oh, interesting. Okay. Your hiding faces they are established enough to operate openly. Connection to Deerfest. Interesting. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. I told you not to keep that key. Ooh, interesting. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear friends. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Is that Rose? I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Whoa. To wake to these nuts, Jesus Christ! Who the hell are you? Why do you know? Who do you? What do you know? So Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? Yo, Rose is. We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Roses, 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 roses. Way it's cuter in this than she is in the fucking in the first game. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Welcome in Doka, by the way. Suspicious I'm doing good. I'm living masks. I'm living the life. No one's suspicious, but soon enough there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Alright, mine palace time. Oh, does it not go there? Are you kidding me? Oh no, okay, maybe it goes in here, no. Maybe it goes in here. Oh, cold symbols. It uses subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle, a badge of pride? Yeah, we have a whole lot of evidence, okay. And then we also have a profile, I think, available? No, we don't. We can't profile her yet. Let's go to our cases. That's closed.
Case closed. That one's closed, okay. This one's also closed. Hmm. There are no lingering questions on this one. I thought we would get... I totally thought we'd get something from, from her. Maybe we didn't. All right, well. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. <sighs> Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard <laughs> of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you sort of thing we're not gonna find out you're the grand wizard or something are we i played some DD back in the day wizard was always my favorite class morning sheriff looks like you have some guests ah morning ted yeah real important guest deer fest always draws a crowd right <laughs> too true more the merrier have a good one sheriff Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But maybe she's right. just maybe she can just read into the manuscript earlier. Maybe she knows. Maybe our daughter will drown. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. All right, here we go. Time for, for an examination. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Oh, this is the creepiest fucking morgue, too. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Right. Oh, interesting. How'd they manage that? Uh-huh. They did leave something inside his chest. What'd they leave? Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Okay, so yeah, this wasn't closed. Haha! -ha. Anything to learn from the body? Well, we have actually a whole bunch of stuff to learn from the body. Cause of death, chest ripped open, something visible inside. That's it. Ritual writing. Writing. Text is smudged. A body and heart. How do killers have time? Doesn't Which make sense. Have been marked before removal.
There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Interesting. Chest trauma is clear cause of death. Cause of bloating. Unknown strange tattoos on skin and heart. Something was inserted into the chest cavity. Oh god, his pee pee. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Oh. Hey, hold on. I was right here. We that is. Is it? The whack Donald sauce. That's just really good. One on? Yeah. The whack sauce be hitting me. Rude of you to scare me like that. Yeah. Got wax sauce. That's true. I did get some wax sauce. Hey, we got some wax sauce. Jesus Christ. Thank you, baby. My girlfriend got me McDonald's, guys. My girlfriend got me McDonald's, guys. My girlfriend got me McDonald's. I get McDonald's, guys. That's what I get. I be a good boy. I get McDonald's burger. I get a big old McDonald's burger. Because I be a good boy. Holy shit. God damn it. I found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Get fucked, you stupid babe. Whoa! My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Oh, God damn it! Jesus. This is not how the story goes. Okay. All right. I get it. I get it. I did it bad. I did it bad. But this, this, this fucking McDonald's sauce. This should be hitting, bro.
This is a good moment because I didn't really get to see much of the cutscene because I got fucking scared. But we'll just rewatch it. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. see her could not see into bright light I'll make you pay. cool with the rush of a part 30 <laughs> he's coming his man took his fucking quick release to get into the light. That's a good chapter. That's a good chapter. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. <laughs> you just like me for real, for real? Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. 
We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. It must there's be mine palace time then. Floor. Wait, there's another page. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. one before he disappeared. Sorry, I'm enjoying my fries, ma'am. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. All righty. That concludes. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. I mean, that is. <laughs> That is, that should, that should do be going pretty crazy. There's gotta be one more. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him. Before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We we heard gunshots. Y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck oh, me. That's terrible. But we'll do what we can, man. How are they so chill about this? That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Oh my god. They're a fine pair. So these guys are just chill even though there are gunshots down here? I've been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Who's your client? Who's your client? Oh, Jesus. We have to do this, Walter. Huh? Let my wits end with you. Hey, Walter! I want out. Something bad's going down. I can feel it. Let me out! What about? What do what these guys do, huh? What do these guys all do? Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paperwork you're causing me? What's well, a lot? Dude, Delta, Delta's gonna hit so fucking hard, this. man. Delta's gonna be fucking crazy, bro. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. A Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't <laughs> playing gonna us. goo buckets. <laughs> Jesus. But it's our best lead. Ugh. We can run through this. We don't have to. We don't have to walk. Come on, 
Come on, dude. Keep up, bro. <clears throat> And repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Well, maybe three. There we go. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books. Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. <sighs> Alright, here we go. The heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Who the hell are these guys? Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Oh. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna ya Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. <laughs> What's happening? My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiirakka. Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. 
I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Ah, fuck the Swedes! Steven, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Thank you. All right. That's I need to head out. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. <clears throat> I'm enjoying I'm enjoying that little 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 finished detour right there, boys. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm, he was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Oh, it's all Our flooded now. Drowning. I never Damn. mind it's rain. It feels like cold. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Oh, hey. Bare feet. Nighting. Just in case. Honest. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. And... After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? This is all pretty out of my pay! What do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get oh, hello, you honey. involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, <clears throat> learn what this ritual is. Any more? Angola became a only victim to become a monster. Why? Doesn't make sense. Hmm. Oh, cult symbols. There we go. Who's involved? I have some foot. I have some footsteps, so that's all I need, really. God, this is gonna. This is gonna be way fucking scarier than fucking Alan Wake 1. This is gonna suck. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? 
Oh Jesus! I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. Oh, hey, there we go. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree. Out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering and the fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Oh, I thought somebody just touched my fucking chair. Oh my god. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. <clears throat> the tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop. Aldera Street Station. The threshold. Like a doorway. Leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. Which is Ladle? Interesting. Go back to the case board. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. Page was covered in substance that my flashlight burned away, it mentions Witch's Hut. Light is the key. Keep an eye out for safe, more places like these. But for something more to be revealed as well. Which side is right up there? Cool. I need to find the witch's hut. Nope, not up here. I do not like this fog. Uh-uh. No, thank you. No fucking thank you. Just a little more to the left now. Yeah, shit. Wait, can we actually go through here? I think we can. This Let's go. Hut. Anderson, I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay, I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. This fuse is busted. Damn. Friday, Mitch told me that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her I liked her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday, so I told her. She said, thanks. Fucking kill me. I snuck out last night again. Went to that big house by the lake. Instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going down going on down there i'm gonna find out what going to get back there tomorrow with better gear i bet i can find a way inside the building take some photos it's gonna be epic oh pistol ammo box again who's leaving these out here 
I don't think it's getting a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, oh Jesus. We're just remember that Alan is watching over us. This one looks good. People should really stop littering though. Let's go, baby. thermos oh hell yeah we gotta save let's fucking go it's a place where you can save your progress another page making progress the image of the witch in the sign saga addressed the witch the smudged line on the heart the second part recited from memory i brought you the heart witch show me the terror Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Oh. Okay. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. All right, go to Alex Casey Lunchboxes. Alan, Alan, wake. What the hell are these? All right, time to profile this motherfucker. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Okay. All right. Probably ritual open the check the general star for the heart. I can't upgrade anything yet. Alright. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. The witch is out here live the witch of the cauldron like beware her spirit may still haunt this place. Life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex wife. Find my way back, don't you worry about it. Jesus. Alright, game has been quick saved. Alright, general store, yeah, right there. Cool. What the hell was that? Christ. Oh! Big deer. Oh, 
There's his heart. The, is clearer now. the wave Magical. crashed on the far side of the mirror. Oh my god, dude. That fucking hurt. Casey's favorite brand. Tastes terrible. Alright. Case board. Sounds literary, but what does it mean? I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. Allow you to heal a blind trauma that takes longer but grants a larger health benefit. Sense. Alrighty. More notes. Saga edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown. Left to rot. I would love some chicken Saga nuggets. thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here. Waiting. Planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an axe in his raised hand. Cool. Oh, hey. Thank you, baby. I appreciate it. I love you. Oh, hell yeah. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Lady Fortuna at the counter. Don't forget update code. Madam Agoneski, palm reading, crystal ball gazing, interpreter of dreams. Seven two three, maybe. Is it seven two three? No. Huh. What were the last three of that lotto number? Wait, no. Five. So that's eight. Wait. Eight. 
13, 17. Four and twenty three, so seventeen twenty three minus seven or seven or excuse me, seventeen twenty three minus seventeen. What the hell is this? The first one was eight, the next one was thirteen. Three. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we can just do this. I wonder if we can brute force it this way. Is it maybe... Is it maybe a case board? No. Damn. God damn it, update to what? Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. What does this mean?